Yo, what's good, guys? Uh, it's Matt here from Easy RGH Mods or Easy Customs. And so today, I've gotten a couple, actually a lot of uh, inquiries uh, pertaining to what do I need um, with my RGH or how do I start modding. And I get this question asked so many times and it's just become so redundant that I just give them something like really vague answer so what i want all of the console sellers to do well not every single one but if you guys ever need to know um what you guys will need with an rgh this is going to be the video and it's going to be explaining in some detail what you will need <laughs> okay so we're gonna pull up paint i know we we, we all love paint but let's get into it so there are going to be two types of modders the modders that will mod online and then the modders that will mod offline so we are going to be doing um online and i have been uh, practicing by the way and then we're just going to do actually i'm just going to just do this very simple we can do online and then we can do off line. So what will I need when I first get my RGH? And I cannot stress this enough. Both you guys, I mean, whether you're going to mod offline or off online, you will need a hard drive. So not a guard drive, but you will need a hard drive. It is... A necessity to have this because without a hard drive you are simply just going to be wasting your time and you're really not going to enjoy modding because you what a lot of people see is modding oh, okay they're just put in a disc and then whoop to do I now have a modded console I could basically do whatever blah 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 no 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 there's a lot of configuring I wouldn't say configuring but I would say putting stuff in to make you be the you, to have the advantages that other people don't have you know I mean when you get your modded you know Xbox you already have one advantage but now let's use that key advantage and let's prosper into mod menus xx menu and different configurations so you will definitely need a hard drive if you do not get a hard drive you basically just have a console with a foreign object the object stuck inside of it maybe some leds and a dual nand so get a hard drive for yourself and then for me um, preloaded consoles are, you know, $185, and I preload them with games and menus of your choice. So, it is so recommended that you buy a console with a hard drive. If you do not, you are going to s just screw yourself over. But, but, what a lot of people do not, um, get is that you can actually... And I know that this is going to be mind blowing. You can actually go out to GameStop, you know, drive over, ride your bike, take a Uber or whatever. You guys can actually go to GameStop, Best Buy, anywhere, and buy yourself a hard drive. An Xbox 360 hard drive, I would recommend 60 gig, 120. To be honest, I would stick with the 12250. If you go, if you only go for the 60, I wouldn't recommend too much with it. I would just say get a 120 or a 60. So get a hard drive, and you guys, you, you know, you don't have to buy them, buy it from the seller. You guys can probably get them kind of cheap off of eBay or something like that, and then get the hard drive yourself. And then I have made countless videos on how to set up your RGH. Not countless, but I've even made a, a flipping. YouTube video on, you know, how to install XX menu, how to set up your RGH, all this stuff, and just watch those videos. 
and I'll probably, you know, sooner or later make a full tutorial on how to do it when you first get your RGH. Again, because the last one was a bit rushed, and I just want to make an hour video on it. So, you know, do your research, figure out what you need to install, and then after you have done that, you know, you got your menu, you got your XX menu, you have your games, dash launch, your plugins, even your stealth. Next, what are you going to need? You are going to need stealth, okay? You you definitely need stealth um, if you're going to go online. You do not need stealth if you are playing offline. Um, stealth is very expensive if you are going to go on to the ninja side. If you're going to go to the crappy teapot slash project on a source, you know, you are going to be... Let's just say, you know, making a terrible investment. So, what will you need? You will need a KV. So, you'll need a KV. Offline, you will not really need a KV unless... Well, I mean, every console has a KV on it. And this is a huge misconception that you... The, that the KV needs to, needs to be on the hard drive in order for you to have a KV. No, because there's something called the uh, flash memory or the NAND that stores the KV um, into the NAND. And that's how, you know, I've, I've explained this. Um, you know, when Microsoft bans your KV, they banned... Well, when they ban your console, they just ban the file. Um, which... I'm, I don't know, you, you can name it something else, you can name it, you know, the .bin file, or whatever, but they'll ban the KV. So, that, you know, that's kind of a misconception that people think, oh, I don't have a KV if it's not on the hard drive. No, you have it on your NAND. I used to go on countless rants about it. But, anyway, you're going to need a KV, you are going, you're, bleh, you are going to need stealth, and you're going to need a hard drive. Again, offline hard drive. And, um, next, what you're probably going to need, let's see, what else will you need? Um, hard drive, stealth, KV, mostly, if you are not going to go on the, um, I would say, if, you, if you're going to go on to the teapot side and just have awful service, you are going to need money. Oh, shoot, my bad. Money or capital. Sorry, I cannot spell today. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Capital. You're going to need money. And this is if you're going to be the average modder who charges people or sells your service. I know people like to use the charging term as, oh, no, this guy's charging money for his service. Ooh, charge, charge. No, you're going to need money for it, if you're going to go online. So, if you guys can kind of see, there is a very big difference when just modding online and then offline. Um, so yeah. Well, that's just about to wrap it up, guys. Um, I think I can touch base in my next video, which is going to be going over um, how to fully set up your RGH. And I'm actually going to grab one of my RGHs and just a flat hard drive and just show you guys how to set up everything. Most likely, I think I might just do it tonight because I just get, I, I just get countless and countless inquiries on what do I need with my RGH, how do I set it up. And I bet, and, and I, I really want to tell you this guys. If you were to just buy an RGH, you know, with the LEDs, probably the cool custom, I don't know, dual NAND or cutout you get, you guys can actually save a lot of money if you just go out to GameStop or, you know, a reseller and just buy the hard drive and then preload yourself. And not only that, you'll get a lot of experience and you really feel how your RGH, um, I, well, <laughs> okay, not feel it, but you really see how to load things up yourself. Because just having someone preload all the crap, you really don't know what to do, and you really don't want to screw anything up. So probably right after this video, I will just show you guys how to set up your RGH. But this is some of the stuff that you'll need. 
get a hard drive, get stealth, uh, buy KVs, and then probably have some money, and then mod menus and gains, um, you know, you could probably just download them off the internet, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, but, yeah, okay, so, hope you guys did enjoy this video, I'm gonna finish up my pizza, and, yeah guys, have a wonderful weekend, and, always stay modding, peace.